I was called and asked if I wanted to open up this fantastic restaurant, Edge, and launch it. It was the best gift anyone could have given to me. I love the climate down here. It's just like home in Australia. It's warm. The, the culture's fantastic. It's such a melting pot of so many different Latin cultures and Caribbean cultures that really bring together so many great flavors that I try to infuse into my food. Yeah, you got it, brother. Farm to Tables is, is such an important thing to me. It's a thing that I live by and that I stand by. When I first got to Miami, I reached out to a lot of chefs and I wanted to know who their secret suppliers were. And they gave them up. It's such a, a warm community down here with the chefs. They, they welcomed me with open arms and they gave me their information and who these people I can reach out to. So we started working with a lot of farms, getting their products in the house, and it's been working really, really well for us. We wanted to make the flavors taste like Miami. So when you eat our food, it should be fresh and local and tasty. Really, all the lively things of Miami are. Local fish as well. We're surrounded by water, so there's so many different types of fish and seafood out there that we can, uh, we can pull from and, and feature on our menu. It's always funny when someone asks me what my specialty is. You know, I, I, I'm not an Italian chef, I'm not a, a Greek or a, a Japanese chef, and they're, they're not my specialties. I wouldn't even call myself an Australian chef. My whole thing and what I was brought up with was just take good food and treat it how it deserves to be treated. Get the best product you can and you can't go wrong, as long as you treat it with respect and cook it right. The thing I love the most about Miami is the weather. The weather here is just sensational. So we built this awesome patio with five hits. Lunch is a great opportunity to come out here and sit on our patio and just enjoy a light salad or a great sandwich, beautiful entrees, and enjoy some of that sunlight. And then there's dinner. Two different personalities, one in the dining room, one outside. In the dining room, it's more cool and relaxed and casual, but then outside, it starts to get a little bit vibrant. You sit by the fire pits and we have our schmores. We make these schmores in-house, people love them. We make our own little cookie, our own marshmallows, coat them in chocolate, and people toast them over the fire pits. I'm really proud of our brunch. We've done a lot of work on it and really taken it a long way. I wanted to take that farm-to-table culture and inject it into our brunch. So that's what we do. We, we source local product, awesome steaks, awesome fish and seafood, a beautiful ice bar with, with stone crab claws and, and only the best East Coast oysters we can get. We want to give people the best experience they can. No stuffy hotel buffets. We want to have fun.